Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Nameless MC to your web hosting plan. So first, you will have needed to connect your domain to your web hosting. We have a whole video on how to do this, and I'll leave it in the description, and as a little icon in the top right right now. Alright, so once this is done, go into the description and find the Nameless MC link. This will take you to Nameless MC's GitHub page, where you then want to scroll down until you find Nameless Depths Dist.zip. You want to click it and it will download, and now we have the file downloaded. Now we need to upload this to our web server. You can do this through FTP or cPanel's built-in file manager. We have a video on how to do it with FTP, and I'll leave that in the description and as an iCard. So if you want to use the cPanel file manager, go down until you find File Manager. Then once you have your files open, go into Public HTML, and then we're going to upload the zip that we downloaded earlier. So now we select our zip, it will start uploading. Now that it's done, we can click Go Back. And now as you can see, the zip folder has uploaded. So now what you're going to do is you're going to select it and then click extract at the top. Click extract and then there we go. And now that we've extracted it, we can select the zip and then delete it. Click confirm and then there we go. So yours then should look like this. If instead of this, you get a single folder called nameless, then go into the folder, take everything out and paste it into public HTML and then delete the folder. But now we have all of our files set up. Now we need to create a MySQL database. So go back to cPanel and down here at databases, we're going to click MySQL databases. So where it says create a new database, you're going to put in a name. For this, I'm going to put Nameless MC. We'll then click Create Database and then go back. And now, as you can see under Current Databases, we have Strange S underscore Nameless MC. Now, Strange S is my username. Now we need to scroll down to create a MySQL user. For the username, I'm just going to put Strange S underscore Nameless and then make your own password. So now I've put in a password, we can click Create User and then go back once more. Scroll down and make sure that you add your user, which I've just created this one to your database that you've also just created and then click add. Then we're going to select all privileges and click make changes. Then we can click go back. So now we've set up our database. Next, you want to go to your domain slash install.php. So now if we go there, as you can see, we've been taken to the nameless MC installer. We're then going to click new installation, click proceed. So you can change anything you want through here. But the main thing we need to do is this database configuration. All right, so for the database address, if you're using a Pebblehost server, it will be web server for dot Dot com. The database port is going to be left at that. The database username is going to be the name of the user that we added to the database earlier. Mine being strange s underscore nameless. The database password is then going to be the password that you made for that user. And for the database name, it's going to be the one we made earlier as well. Mine being strange s underscore nameless mc. We'll then click proceed. And now the database has been configured then click continue and then there's some custom things you can make for yourself here and these can be changed later then we have to create an admin account so of course make this yourself we we'll then click proceed and now it's going to ask us finally do you want to convert from a different forum software if you have obviously click yes but we haven't so we're going to click no and now that is the install done we can click finish now if we go to our website as you can see nameless mc has successfully installed so hopefully this video did help if it did definitely leave a like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time